Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Kingdom Maker video with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, and everyone in between, today we're going to be talking about power. Power! Um, in this game, there are five types of power. Family power, city power, oh my god. God, every time I do a video, I forget to turn my alarms off. <laughs> oh, it's not like I haven't been doing this for years. Years and years and years. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, there are five types of power in this game. There's family power, city power, research power, military power, and land power. All of these things can be affected by doing various things within the game, upgrading things, building, etc, etc. If you want to see the breakdown of your power levels, click on the little power icon up the top here, and it'll bring us to our screen. Get it, please. Thank you. It'll bring us to our screen. If we click this little information button here, please go away. Thank you so much for helping, but please go away. We can see a breakdown of our power here. <laughs> our family power is currently 3.42 million. Our city power is 1.93 million. Research power 323.5k and military power 1.42 million. Land power is zero. So family power first. Family power is affected by your nobles. So your family, the ones you are breeding, whether they are... Um, what kind of uh, status they are, are they legendary, are they you know impressive, are they common, are they runts, uh, and also whether or not you have powered them up. Now, as we can see, I have an enormous amount of family power. Considering my level, which is level 18 currently, and my total power, which is 7.1 million, my family power is a large part of that uh, compared to my military power. This has been a, uh, a conscious effort uh, in the early part of this game to focus on increasing my family power as much as I possibly could um, against increasing my military power. Now, a lot of people would be like, what? Why would you do that? Um, basically, I just wanted to experiment with how this will eventually affect my end game. I do believe having better nobles at the end will help me um, achieve victory uh, in certain battles. Obviously, having good nobles will give you better buffs uh, if we come and have a look at say this army if we come back to here army uh, this army here and if we click on this little thing here it's going to give us all of the buffs this army currently has now you can see here these enormous range of noble buffs that are on this army because this noble uh, finnegan gill um, has been leveled up to he has three more traits in, ta oh, three more talents in uh, this one to open, and he's two uh, away from level forty, which I think is the top that he can possibly get. Um, he also has uh, uncommon uh, noble armor, and some of that has been upgraded as well. So by doing that, I've made this guy a large part of the buffs that add to any of my military strength within this army. Now, whether or not that's a good thing or not. I don't know. Uh, I wanted to focus on that first before focusing on my military power. Now, to increase any noble's power, it's relatively easy. We come in here, we click on the guy, and if we change something like this, bang, we could increase his power. Let's actually do that for one person. Uh, well, come back here. Let's just double check what was our power before. I just want to uh, show you 3.42 million. So if we come here, find somebody, uh, let's do this one here. We can open up, oh, because she's legendary, she has larger talents, which is great. Uh, and if we come here, we should be able to do that one. Excellent. And that one. Excellent. And promote this person. Excellent. That opens up talent two. And then we should also be able to go like a so and level them up. We might not have all the experience we need, possibly. Oh, no, we don't. We're going to get them to level 17. Now, that should have added quite a lot to our power. If we come back here and have a look at that. 3.44. So that added approximately 200,000 or 20,000. Well, what was it before? I can't remember. However, you can see that that's affected my family power considerably. That's also affected my power up here. I'm now 7.11 million as opposed to 7.0 uh, million. Um, and that is the same thing for everything. For cities, if we wanted to increase our city power, relatively easy. Come into here. No, not into here. Sorry. Come into here. Uh, we can see this building is nearly finished. Use a speed up on it. 
Bam. Oh, we have to wait 37 seconds. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> what is our city power now? 1.93 million. I don't think what we're doing is going to increase it that much, but let's just have a go. Hurry up. 24 seconds. While we're waiting, let's do some elevator music. Man, shut up. I'm awake. <laughs> Yeah, I've got like a hundred alarms going. I'm tired at the moment. I don't know about how you guys are feeling, but I'm feeling tired. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, free. That's done. If we increase that, bang, building upgrade completed. Let's pop back here and see what that did to our city power. 1.94. I can't remember what it was before, before, but I think that's gone up. Fantastic. We can do the same for research power. If we come into here and increase this and speed this one up. Bam. Boom. What has that done for up here? Research power is now 323.8. I believe that's gone up. And then military power, if we wanted to increase that, we need to increase basically the size of our army. I do believe that also banners might affect military power. Uh, but we should be able to come here. Can we speed something up? First, let's see what, our, what is our power. 1.42 million. So let's come here, go training. Uh, this guy, speed you up. Bam, 42 seconds left. While we're there, we're just gonna click on this thing, get some more loot. Excellent, we need that. We need all of the XP we can possibly get. And what's this, a chest? Ooh, some champions, what is this, what is, where is, it? ooh, lovely, silver. Recruit those guys, fantastic. Thank you very much. And hopefully, training's 17 seconds away. And what was the power again, we're, we're gonna check. 1.42 million okay and in a second we should see that pop up we've already added 200,000 to our power just in the last two minutes just by upgrading one noble uh, finishing research and finishing um, this thing completed bam that added 15.8 K to million power to our military power and we should be able to see that here like so 1.43 that's gone up fantastic so out of those first four powers they are relatively easy to upgrade now what is the most important one without a doubt your military power is the most important one as we can see i'm 7.13 million however if we say come over here and look at this guy decameron uh who's in our alliance and go here 872 he's not that far he's only le he's less than half a million behind me in military power um, we could have a relatively even fight same thing i guess if we went over here and looked at uh say demont over here um had a look here yeah we could see 1.59 military power he is more than i am is it not at the moment yeah he is over my military power if we had a fight most likely demont would win now my buffs would help but remember even though i have buffed up these nobles quite a lot the actual noble family power is spread between all of these guys. So I have high noble family power because my merchant here is a level 30, because my explorer is a level 30, because I have two merchants at level 30, because I have a miner at level 20, etc., etc., etc. So I would say that military power is the best bet to go for, um, because that is how you are going to be able to defeat other Mem uh, other players within the game uh, that is also how you're going to be able to defeat higher level uh, NPC camps and get more loot from them um, and hopefully achieve greater things so that would be the focus I suggest the only other power in here is called land power now I do believe that land power is based on whether or not you stage an army so actually let's just test that one second stage this guy I want to see if that changes our land power. Um, I think it might. I haven't tested this yet, actually. I wanted to, I forgot to test it before the video. Let's pop up here and come to here. That doesn't change our land power. Okay, so uh, recall. Then land power is bound to be based on whether or not we are on a uh, particular camp. Now we can see one, there's a couple of them around here. Where is, where is, where is they? Where is they? Ah, see up here, Woodside. So this is a particular camp that if we, oh, we each time you defeat them in battle, you loot some wood, and once defeated, you can conquer them to relocate your city. 
and the city will have a nice boost for what if we owned this i believe our land power would go up if we sat on top of this our land power would go up but also i do think that land power is eventually about the capital cities and about the uh the owning the capital cities and the war that is to come in the future you can see here county capital timbers all that kind of stuff that's where land power is going to come into effect so for early mid game i don't think you need to worry about that too much basically if you could take any advice i would suggest you very very strongly that you aim your research at tier three troops and you get those trained as fast as possible and that's going to increase your power i think in the most efficient way do not forget to upgrade your family however make sure that you start having legendary or impressive before you spend all of your talent uh, all your silver and your uh, combat merits and all that kind of stuff on upgrading them anyway little quick explanation of power there um hope that answered any questions you might have let me know down below if you do have any questions and i'll see you next time bye